So PIE stands for post-inflammatory erythema, whereas PIH stands for post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation. Now, both of these can be caused by something common like, let's say, acne, right? That's definitely the most common cause. Now, here's the differences. So PIH is usually going to be sort of brown, grayish, even blackish in color, whereas PIE is going to be what you would think, which is pink, red, or purple. Now, um, PIH is usually going to be in dark people of darker skin types, whereas PIE is going to be usually in people of lighter skin types, usually type 1 through 3. Now, um, PIH is caused by sort of an inflammatory hyper response of melanin production, whereas PIE is sort of the inflammation causing a breakdown in the blood vessels, which then shows up as, as, as this redness. Now, in terms of treatment, PIH can be difficult. It can really last for a long time. And in fact, studies have shown that it really, um, a lot of times bothers people even more than the acne that caused it. Now, in terms of um, treatments, everything from retinol to hydroquinone to glycolic acid, azelaic acid are used um, at home, which can really help. And things like chemical peels or even something like a Fraxel laser, doing a series of those can really help get rid of that PIH for good. Now, in terms of PIE, you want to really target um, the vascular cause of these things. So um, azelaic acid can help with that. Vitamin C can help with that. Um, a lot of different, you know, topicals like kojic acid can do that. Also retinols can help with that. But you do want to use in terms of treatments in the office, you're going to use a vascular laser to get rid of that erythema. And then you also may piggyback with something like a Fraxel to really smooth the skin. So those are the differences between PIH and PIE and how they're caused and treated.